All right, what's up, guys? Um, today I'm be answering a couple of common questions, just like ten, technically nine, that people ask around a lot. And uh, number one is is GIMP free? Yes, GIMP is free. GIMP is completely free, and you can download it from their website. Is GIMP as good as Photoshop? Um, not exactly. GIMP is a free GNU application so they're not as good as Photoshop but they're the closest that you can get that they're closest that they've ugh, that any program has gotten to Photoshop but then again if you're gonna pay a thousand dollars for a program of course you're gonna get a better it's bet it's gonna be better cuz that's how much CS4 cost which version do I have check which version you have just go to help on when, when your GIMP's uh, open and just click about and it'll tell you which GIMP version you have and there you go and uh... how do i save images alright so to save an image uh... let's say i just um... let it load anyway let's say i i uh... take an image whether you made an image or not i'm just going to use an image i already made whoops <coughs> anyway so to save an image you want to select file and save as if it is your first time saving you can use save as to save images um, if you want to change the name the format or whatever you want to use save as and you just save it where in the folder you want to save it in now if you already have the image and you're just trying to override it and there's nothing you want to change you just edit in the image you just click save and it will automatically save over without making you change the folder and all that what are the best formats? Now, the best formats. This is different. Okay, most images that people receive over the internet are JPEG. JPEG sucks. JPEG is a horrible format and 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 um, screws up the quality of the image, especially when it's being uploaded to a website. Um, the best quality for images is PNG format. It conserves the whole quality, and you don't lose any of it, especially when you're uploading um, to websites like MySpace. You'll notice if you notice in some people's images, if they're JPEG, they have little squiggly, like bad quality lines going through it. No, PNG saves the quality and puts it exactly how it looks, like this would look right now. <laughs> All right. Um, how do I save animated images? All right. Um, when you make an animated image, uh, it, and it's in GIF format, you want to save it in GIF. GIF format is very easy to save in. You just click um, Save As, and during the image, it'll most likely already be in GIF format. But if it's not, you just want to select all of out of all of these uh, image formats. You want to go to GIF right here. That's the animation um, uh, uh, format. All right, how do I completely erase GIMP? All right, now let's say you upgraded to something for some reason you like better than GIMP, or you had to get rid of it on somebody's computer. GIMP is very hard. It's just, when you uninstall GIMP, it doesn't completely uninstall. So what you want to do is I'm using Vista, but I mean it's similar to XP. You want to first go to your com go to computer and your hard drive, and then your program files. <laughs> and then all the way down you want to go to GIMP 2.0 and erase the file same for XP and you're not done yet then after you do that you want to go to your account which in XP would be you go to computer hard drive users and your account and then delete the GIMP um, 2.6 uh, file and the um, GEGL uh, file. You don't need that if you're not going to use GIMP. All right, uh, another question. Uh, where do I get GIMP? All right, to get GIMP, you um, go to their main website, which is www.gimp.org. I'll show you one. Okay. Whoops. Okay. All right, you want to go to gimp.org. And um, <clears throat> right off the bat, you'll see it says download. It's just simple. You just download it, and it'll take you to the downloads page. Or if you don't want the new, or if you don't want the recently released or the newest release version, you can click downloads and go down to all of their um, 
uh, uh, downloads for GIMP so that you don't just have to so that you don't just have to get 2.6.6 or whatever version has just been released. Okay. Uh, is GIMP available for Macs? Yes, GIMP is available for Macs. You go to their page, you can download it one just just like it says GIMP for Windows, it'll say GIMP for Macs. You download it and it works fine. Okay. Um, is GIMP available? Oh, no. Will you answer any? Well, I put that in there. Will you answer any questions? Yes, I'm just. If I have a lot of people send me messages asking how to do stuff on GIMP, um, I will find you the answer. Even if I don't know it, you can ask one of the most complex questions. But if I and if I don't know it, um, I will find it. All right, I will go all over the internet and I will find that the answer and I will um, send you. Uh, how to fix the problem or how to do something or whatever I'll reply to you and tell you how to do it so I will reply to every single last uh, question that anybody gives me so yeah or well, most of them I'll try my hardest to get back at, at all of you alright so that's um, ten questions simple questions there's a lot of different questions uh, I hope you send me questions uh, and uh, I'll be sure to help you if I don't have a video tutorial of it then I'll give you a text tutorial for it so just ask questions uh, thanks for watching the video uh, please comment rate and subscribe peace out